guys. It's sunny out in California, Northern California. We like the sunshine here. And also, it's brisk. How's everybody doing today? I'm so excited, it's Tuesday. So today we're gonna work on arms. Um, I really wanted it to focus on like upper arms, shoulders. And then of course we're gonna incorporate opening the hips, lengthening the spine, always working on the core, which is kind of one of my favorites. Gotta, gotta keep that one up. So let's go ahead and find the center of our mat and let's remove the flesh from underneath our sit bones if available to you. Sometimes, this is pretty TMI, I even have to go like into my um, my pants or my whatever, my spandex, and I have to like remove the flesh because these are really tight. So if I try to do it like over, it won't do, but if I do it under into my actual flesh to flesh, like it'll, it'll be better. And now I feel proper propped. Um, with that, go ahead and close your eyes, close your eyes and find stillness for just a moment. See how you're arriving today. Are you feeling fragile? Are you feeling um, a little bit shaken, moved? Are you wanting to find ground? In that case, go ahead and place your palms down for grounding. And if you're feeling vigorous, empowered, just very solid, coming in hot type thing, maybe you want to stay grounded and you want to keep your hands down, or maybe you are ready to take on new challenges, go ahead and turn your palms up for receiving. <clears throat> breath with us into the belly as you exhale go ahead and draw your right hand onto your belly and then go ahead and lift your chest allow your belly to expand with your inhale holding onto it with your right hand Go ahead and exhale, press your belly button back towards your spine. Take another inhale through your nose, into your low belly, and then fix your torso so that it is stacked on top of your hips. Draw your belly button back towards your spine with your exhale. And then see if you can inhale one more time. And then as you exhale and you're drawing your belly button back toward your front of your belly, and if it's not already there, and your left hand behind your sacrum, and then go ahead and find that media, uh, center balance so that you are in your most upright position. Keep breathing here. Inhale and exhale through your nose into the belly. Eventually, you'll rise it into your low ribs and into the chest. Take it one step at a time. And as you stack your torso on top of your hips, your hips are going to tighten a little bit. Go ahead and relax the knees and thighs. Relax the shoulders. And then I want to encourage you to engage your pelvis. Relax the shoulders, beautiful. And then go ahead and relax your hands back down to your knees. The pelvis is at the center of your body. It's gonna be in between the front and the back and the sides, the lateral sides of your body. A little below your belly button, just above 
your hoo-ha area. You want to bring your namastitihi upward, engage, activate, and remain present. As you breathe in through your nose, into your low belly, go ahead and exhale your chin toward your chest, belly to spine. Inhale here for another breath, through your nose, into your low belly. And then exhale, belly button back toward your spine. Then go ahead and tuck under your hips. Blink softly, open your eyes, gazing at your legs. Curl your back, chin to chest, continuing to lengthen through the spine. Go ahead and wrap your hands around the fronts of your knees. Pulling through your arms, lengthening through the fronts of your shoulders. Go ahead and gently inhale as you stack your torso over your hips and then continuing to move the movement forward like seated cat cow. Draw your belly forward like if you were to be pregnant, creating a gigantic curvature on the spine and then begin to gaze up toward the sky very gently. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Very gently begin to stack your torso over your hips, head comes to center. Go ahead and gaze over your left shoulder. And then go ahead and tilt the head back. Go ahead and inhale, bring it forward, rotate your head back to center. Through to the other side, go ahead and gaze over your right shoulder. And then tilt your head back. Inhale yourself forward and back to center. Go ahead and gently float your hands to your heart center as you bow your chin to your chest in gratitude. Inhale, bring it up, opening this class to simply opening our lives to the possible. Whatever is happening in the world around us, perhaps saying yes more often. And then go ahead and open your arms out to a T, circle your arms all the way around and up, lengthen through your arm. Bring it in through center, pull it over to the right side. Inhale through center, Release your hands by your sides. Go ahead and bend onto the left hand. Circle your right arm over above you, lengthening it over to the opposite side of your body. Bending at the bottom elbow, not dumping the head, keeping it in line with the spine. Pulling through the fingertips and then opening your chest for the sky, creating a long line of energy from your fingertips down to your right hip. Make sure that your hip doesn't come off the mat. Keep it grounded on the earth here. If available to you, you can gaze at your thumb and then go ahead and circle it forward with the upper arm. Place that same hand onto the mat circle the opposite arm over above you lengthening through the fingertips bending at the bottom elbow 
and then opening the chest toward the sky. Again, not dumping the head. We want to keep it in line with the spine. And keeping the left hip bolted to the mat. and circle it forward, bring it back down, and then switch the fold of the legs. Bringing your spider fingers forward, you're gonna hinge at your hips, you're bringing your belly forward, but you're gonna draw your belly button back toward your spine, and then you're gonna lead with your heart. So you're gonna come forward with your chest, hinging at your hips, belly towards spine. Once you find a good place you feel good at, go ahead and pause right there. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend your elbows, bring it forward and down. If available to you for a breath, go ahead and come back down to, on your, to your forearms. Pressing the earth away from your shoulders and then go ahead and inhale, bring it back up. Feels good. All right, to remove anything that might be around you or from underneath your sit bones. Meet me down onto your child's pose, opening the legs a little bit wider than hip width distance. Big toes meet one another if possible. And then lengthen the arms over above you. Your forehead is resting on the mat. This is a resting pose, come back to it at any time. Your belly is sunk through your legs here. Go ahead and activate your hands, spider fingers, and then go ahead and walk both of your hands over to the left side here, placing the right hand over the left to lengthen the right side body. Take a breath here. You're following, inhale, go ahead and come through center and take it to the opposite way. Left hand over the right, lengthening the left side body. And then go ahead and come back to center, looking up at your hands. Spread your fingers wide and then bring your shoulders over your wrists. Replace your knees so that they are below your hips. And then look ahead as you drop the belly. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, curl the back, chin toward the chest. Inhale as you drop the belly, look up. And then exhale as you curl your back, chin to chest. On an inhale, go ahead and lengthen. Open your left arm up toward the sky. And then you're going to thread it behind your right arm over to the opposite side. If available to you, you can bring your right hand behind your low back, and then my hips have shifted to the right. I'm gonna push them back to be in a parallel line with the mat. If available to you for a challenge, I like to bring my hand back down by my shoulder, and I like to lengthen my right leg behind me if I can, I'll lift it up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, your left arm up. 
open it back up toward the sky and then exhale bring it down we'll take it on to the opposite way so inhale your right arm up and then exhale thread it behind your left hand release your forehead or side of your head on the mat and then again my hips have shifted here so I'm gonna push them back to parallel with the mat and if I'd like to I'm gonna release my hand on my low back take a breath here Go ahead and plant your hand by your shoulder once again, and then lengthen the left leg behind you. And if available to you, you can lift it off of the mat. Release that knee down, and then open that right arm all the way back up and set it back down go ahead and come to a plank to lengthen the legs back behind you press your shoulders away from the earth so you're not right here pressing it up and then bend deep at the knees keeping your fingers spread wide middle fingers facing forward without moving your feet from where they are go ahead and look down at your toes your hips come up and then you begin to sink your heels toward Mother Earth. You're more than welcome to spread your toes nice and wide. You want to roll your shoulders out, belly towards spine, hips a little bit higher, press your chest toward your thighs. Go ahead and walk your hands all the way back to meet your feet, lengthening through the backs of the legs here. You can sway your gluteus side to side. ahead and plant your right hand right in front of you you can find a deep bend at the knees if necessary everyone's different here or you can bring a block to bring the earth closer to you you're gonna plant your hand where your nose would fall if it were to touch the ground you're gonna bend the same side so the leg the right leg with the right arm lengthen through the left and then you're going to twist open your torso and then you're going to bring that left arm up toward the sky gaze at your thumb lengthen through the spine inhale through your nose and then go ahead and plant that left hand over behind you as you inhale your whole torso up beautiful from here inhale your circle your arms all the way around and up and then exhale bring it forward we're going to take it on to the opposite side so plant your left hand in center bend the left leg in center on the ground i should I should say lengthen the right leg and then and then open your right arm up toward the sky and then gaze at your thumb lengthen through the spine take a breath or two here And then place that same hand the lengthened hand on your low back as you inhale yourself up to standing beautiful go ahead and open your feet about mat width distance 
Plant your hands on your low back, fingertips facing the earth. Maybe I could do it this way. You can see me. I hope you can see me. And you want to, well, I need to do it the other way. So you want to lift your torso, lengthen and draw your shoulders back. You're gonna be pressing your hips forward as you're going to be pulling your chest up and back. Beautiful, and then gaze back behind you. Find something to, to stare at that's not moving. If available to you, and if you feel comfortable doing this, go ahead and shift your hips over to the right side as your torso comes left. Shift your hips over to the left side as your torso comes right. Go ahead and inhale, bring it back to center. And then bending at your knees, bring it forward and down. I'm keeping my hands on my low back for support. It just feels really good. And then I'm gonna grab onto my ankles. And I'm going to inhale, halfway look up, lengthen through the backs of the legs. And then exhale, bring it forward, beautiful. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows here, sway side to side. Go ahead and begin to lengthen through the legs. Planting your hands out in front of you, we're going to come to a plank. Beautiful. You're going to release the knees onto the mat and bending at the elbows, hugging them in towards your ribs. Come forward and down. Tops of your feet come together on the mat. Inhale up for a baby cobra, shoulders press back. And then exhale, bring it back to your child's pose. Bring your hands back behind you and grab onto your heels. We are going to inhale don't do it yet, I'm just gonna walk you through it. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift our hips toward the sky. And then you're gonna rotate onto the crown top of your head. So if you want, it looks like this. If you wanna look up, you're gonna grab onto your heels. Your hips come up, you come onto the crown of your head. And this is going to really lengthen the shoulders once again, the spine. Okay, go ahead and exhale, bring it down if you did it with me. We're going to do it together for two more rounds. So go ahead and inhale. Lift the hips, come to the crown of your head. And then exhale, bring it down. We're gonna take that one more time. Inhale, rise it up. And then exhale, bring it down. Lift your torso with you. Coming onto a hero pose. Go ahead and keep your torso stacked over your hips here. Grab that namasitihi, bring it upward. Engage the glutes. Moment here. Take a moment to just kind of check in. See where your body needs a little attention. Keep a mental note. Go ahead and inhale yourself onto your knees. If this hurts, maybe you have a towel at home or a blanket. 
You can place under your knees. Um, I'm okay. And then what I would like for you to do is for you to open your knees at about hip width distance. Beautiful. And then you want to bring your hands, interlace them behind your head for support. But they're not going to be the ones doing the work. We're going to engage our core here. So we're going to exhale as we curl the back and then bring our right shoulder over to the left knee. Inhale as you rise it up. Exhale as you bring the left elbow to the right knee. Inhale, rise it up. Bring it down, opposite elbow. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, opposite elbow. Inhale, rise it up. Okay, we're gonna do three more. Exhale. Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up, exhale down. up, exhale down, bring it up, that's two, last one, exhale, inhale up, and exhale, inhale, bring it up, Ooh, how are your glutes, I feel it, all right, so go ahead and calm down onto all fours, you guys, left knee is under the left hip pressing my shoulders away from the earth belly towards spine right leg is lengthened behind me go ahead and inhale bend that knee up really ground the right arm onto the mat press your shoulder away from the earth for stability Reach behind you for that right foot. And then your knee's gonna wanna open. Go ahead and keep it tight, keep it sealed in toward midline, lengthening through the left arm. Draw your belly button back toward your spine and exhale. Give me like a lazy four top here. Just take a moment to yourself. So we're going to adjust our shoulders above our wrists, knees below hips. Really press through your left hand now. You're going to lengthen the left leg. Bend the left knee up behind you, and instead of your knee opening up, you want to bring it in toward midline. Reach with your right hand over behind you for that left foot. I have a huge back bend here. I'm going to draw my belly button back toward my spine. Press the shoulder away from the earth. Inhale it up. Belly towards spine, inhale, and exhale, and then exhale, release it down. Give me a lazy tabletop here. Take a moment, regather yourself. We're going to curl our toes under as we come to the top of a plank, and then inhale. As you press your hips up and back here, we're gonna lengthen the back right leg up toward the sky for three-legged dog. As we inhale, step it through. Inhale your torso with you, arms come up for crescent pose. And then you wanna open up for warrior two. Back foot becomes parallel to the back edge of the mat. Arms come out to a T. Your front knee opens so that you can see your pinky toe. 
and then instead of dumping all of the weight forward, you want to bring it up, lengthening through the back leg, gazing through your middle finger forward. Go ahead and inhale, reach, reach, reach forward, and then release that hand inside your foot as your top hand comes forward and up creating a long line of energy from your fingertips down to your back heel. Press through the outer edge of your back foot. Go ahead and circle it up and then lengthen the front leg here. And I like to bring my hand inside my shin as I open my hip and my shoulder and I bring that hand over to my, behind my back, over to my right thigh. Gazing up if available to you. Find something that's not moving. And then go ahead and circle, plant both of your hands down to the mat as you step your right foot back, top of the plank, release your knees onto the earth, bend your elbows, come forward and down, inhale up for cobra, tops of the feet are on the mat, heels together, exhale, through downward, or I'm sorry, through child's pose, don't get too comfortable, roll it up through a tabletop, curl your toes under, top of a plank. Go ahead and press your hips up and back for your downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up for three legged dog. And then step it through. And then inhale your torso, come up for crescent pose with your hands, palms meet one another. Or not meet, sorry, face each other. Lengthen through the back leg and then release your back foot down, your heel. Your, the outer edge of your foot is parallel to the outer edge of the mat as you open your arms out to a T and your front leg is at a 90 degree angle. Open that knee so that you can gaze at your pinky toe and then not dumping all of the weight forward. Go ahead and inhale it up. Beautiful. Go ahead and inhale as you reach forward, reach, 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 and then release that hand inside your foot as your top hand circles around and forward, creating a long line of energy from your fingertips down to the outer edge of your back foot and gaze at your middle finger or thumb. And then go ahead and bring or extend the left leg and bring your left hand inside your shin, circling or wrapping the right hand over behind your back over to your left thigh, opening the hip here, opening the shoulder. Gazing up at something that's not moving. And then go ahead and circle your hands down to the mat. Plant them. Step your left foot back, top of a plank. As you step your right foot forward, Release your right knee down, top of your foot comes down. And we are actually going to move that knee so that it is facing back. Our hips are parallel to the longer edge of the mat. 
I'm going to fix this foot so that it's at a 90 degree angle. It looks like a square. Opening my hip there, or opening my knee so that I can lengthen through my hip. I'm going to inhale both of my arms up toward the sky. And I'm going to lean over to the left here. Go ahead and come up and plant your hands onto your hips. Go ahead and lengthen that opposite foot, or not opposite, um, the bent knee, and then make your toes face forward. Beautiful, so the outer edge of my extended foot is parallel to the outer edge of the mat. I'm gonna hold on to my hips because they wanna keep bending back. So I'm gonna bring them forward and I'm gonna stack them on top of my, um, well, I'm gonna stack my torso on top of my hips and my hips are gonna come up on top of my left knee and then it's gonna pull it so that I'm at this like nice grounded center. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna, this is really challenging. So if you have some blocks and you wanna bring them over, we're gonna lean the opposite way. So what we wanna do is we wanna plant our left hand here and now we're gonna create a long line of energy on this side. So we're gonna lengthen the other arm over and, I'm, and I was on my fingers here and then I'm gonna come down onto my palm because that's more grounded and less, um, less of a possibility to like injure myself. Whew. And then go ahead and circle it back down We're going to take it the opposite way, so go ahead and bend at your knee. Again, put blankets or towels, especially because you're at home and you have these guys. Support your knees if you need to. And then here we're going to open our opposite foot at a 90 degree angle. It looks like a square. I'm going to square open my hips forward. And I'm gonna inhale both of my arms up and then tilt over to the bent side. And I'm not gonna dump my head. I'm gonna keep it nice and strong and sturdy in a center position. And go ahead and inhale, come up, grab onto your hips and then lengthen that same foot. Right at center here. And then I'm going to, oh, I'm going to tilt my foot facing me for you guys. And, then, and I'm going to tilt my foot facing you guys. Okay. Hinge at the hip. Plant your hand down on the mat. And then lengthen through your heart, arm and hands the opposite way. If your hips want to come back, go ahead and press them forward. And then go ahead and bring it up. We're doing good, you guys. Go ahead and bend at that knee. Face the front of the edge of your mat. And we're going to go ahead and sit on our bum bums here. I'm feeling it, like, in a good way. It hurts really good. Okay, so now we're gonna come on to a boat pose, but before we just dive right in, because I know I love to, go ahead and fix yourself and remove any flesh from underneath your sit bones if necessary. And we're going to First, lengthen the legs, make sure that you have enough mat space for your feet to be on the mat. And then now we're going to grab the front of our knees as we lift, lengthen our torso. Come on to your toes. If available to you, lift the feet. Grab onto the backs of your knees here. 
breathing. We're gonna tap to strengthen our hips, the left foot down, so one, two, keep the torso lifted, and three, right side, one, two, and last one, three. All right, go ahead and open, place your feet on the mat, open your knees out. We're gonna do a little butterfly pose. I like to interlace my fingers and slightly wrap them, my hands around my toes, the tops of my toes. And then I'm gonna find a long spine as I inhale, hinge forward, bending at my elbows, leading with my heart. Maybe I'll close my eyes, slightly tuck my chin to find the long neck. Go ahead and inhale, rise it back to center. And then go ahead and hug onto your left knee in toward your heart, lengthen the right leg out in front of you. And we're gonna go Barbie feet. So we're pressing through the balls of the feet. Ready? We're gonna switch it, hug the right knee in, left leg lengthens. Keep a long torso. Go ahead and switch. And switch again. We don't have to go fast for this to be, you know, working its magic. Go ahead and switch. What we want to do is we always want to engage the core and we always want to strengthen the hips. If we can go ahead and switch, if we can strengthen our hips, you guys, a lot of low back pain will fade. Go ahead and switch. So what we're doing is we're lengthening the torso and with each switch, we're really working our core and our hips, all the muscles from the hips to the low back that are wrapping around our body. Go ahead and switch. We want those muscles to be strong and just because they're there doesn't mean that they're always So we're working to strengthen the body at all times. Switch. And last one, you guys, switch. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to bring our knees in and we're gonna open our arms out by our sides. We're gonna tilt back, keep a long torso, and we're gonna lengthen the legs out in front of us. Go ahead and bring it in. Very gently release it down, not all the way down, but lengthening out and bring it in and very gently lengthen out and bring it in. One more for good luck. Lengthen out and bring it in. If this is available to you, this is a little more uh, advanced. Go ahead and open your knees slightly, bring your hands inside. Grab your peace fingers and grab onto your big toes. And then you want to open your legs out in front of you. If this is not available to you, what I want you to do is I want you to hold this pose right here. Okay, legs at a 90 degree angle, arms by your sides. If you start to get tired, hold yourself, but don't put your feet down, okay? For those that are more advanced, grab onto your big toes lengthen the legs out in front of you and see if you can begin to point your toes beautiful and then go ahead and bring it down beautiful everybody bring it down good job you guys we are going to come back on our back we are going to bend at the knees, bring the heels toward the glutes, 
You can plunge your hands onto the mat or grab onto your ankles, either or, and then inhale, rise your hips up for bridge pose. Exhale, bring down. See if you can lengthen your whole spine so that it is in contact with the earth. Go ahead and inhale, rise it up. Really press your glutes inward. Hips come higher and then exhale, bring it down. See if you can make full contact with Mother Earth here with your spine. And we'll take that one more time. If you'd like, you can interlace your fingers behind you. So inhale, rise it up. Go ahead and interlace your fingers because that's what you're planning on doing. Press your chest a little bit higher forward. Hips higher, knees. Don't, don't let them open, just bring them in toward midline, beautiful. Exhale, bring it down. Beautiful. All right, we're going to go on to plow pose for those that are able to. Go ahead and hug your knees in toward your heart. Lift your head, give yourself a hug here. We're almost there, you guys. We're almost going to land the plane. Go ahead and give yourself a little swing as you press your hips high, your feet over your head and I like to walk my elbows in always stay on your toes in this pose this is really good to lengthen the back Really bring some good blood flow through your brain, through your heart. This is an inversion because your heart is above your head. If you're starting to get dizzy, just come down very gently. Keep breathing here. your hands on your low back for support. Make sure that you allow your back to set down easy. Keeping your hand, uh, keeping your feet bent, so also the feet on the earth. Go ahead and just allow both of your knees to fall over to one side and then the other. Loosen the hips, let go of the knees. to center as you extend your legs out to the corners of your mat, opening your hands out to by your sides, palms facing up toward the sky. Just really melting in your most important pose, Shavasana. Relaxing the hips, the shoulders, the knees, and the ankles.
as we begin to get ready to conquer another day. Maybe wiggle out the fingertips and wiggle out the toes. Stretch your arms over above you like that morning sunrise. Rolling onto your right side in the fetal pose. Taking this time to thank yourself for showing up and giving the body your, the maintenance it requires of you. Floating your hands to your heart center as you take in how you're feeling, the shift that's happened within you throughout the practice and how you're going to go on to your day. Remember to stay open to possibilities, perhaps saying yes more often. And I wanna thank you so much for letting me guide you through this practice of yoga. May your light shine on others. Thank you so much. Namaste. You can blink softly, open your eyes. Good job. Woohoo! Another Tuesday down, baby. Um, there's Thursday at the park in Yontville, Yontville Park. For those that are Napa local, come join me. For those that are visiting from around the world and you don't have your business meeting until three o'clock in the afternoon, guess what? There is yoga in Yonville with yours truly, Ruba Yogi. <laughs> I'm it, <laughs> Miss Ruba. Um, thank you guys.